This is a story about how following through with your gut feeling and intuition could save a life or prevent permanent regrets. If this is something you can relate to, please watch until the end. A colleague of ours shared how following and disregarding his intuition forever changed his life. Hi, Psych2Goers. Thanks for joining us today. Today, I want to try something new and give you guys both a listicle story and a personal story of a team member, which will be at the end of the video. Please leave in the comments below on which one you related to more. Number 1. Childhood Bonding Growing up with my grandparents and relatives during my father's business trips allowed me to form a deep and special bond with them. These interactions shaped my upbringing and self-development in profound ways. Number 2. The Gift of Intuition Through spending extensive time with my loved ones, I developed a unique intuition, or sixth sense. I could feel their emotions, mental state, and even their health, regardless of the distance between us. Number 3. Distress Energy Whenever I felt sick or encountered issues, my grandmother would sense my distressed energy, even though my family had migrated to a different continent. Her intuitive connection prompted her to check on me ensuring my well-being. Number four, dreams as warning signs. As I grew older, I started experiencing dreams that partially foresaw the future. These dreams became my warning signs, guiding me through life's uncertainties. Number five, preventing grim outcomes. In some instances, my dreams helped me prevent or delay certain grim outcomes. By heeding the messages they conveyed, I was able to take necessary actions to change the course of events. Number six, notifying the inevitable. However, there were times when my dream simply notified me of the inevitable. Ignoring these messages only led to regret later on, emphasizing the importance of listening to my intuition. Number seven, emotional connection. Beyond predicting events, my intuitive connection allowed me to deeply understand and empathize with my loved ones. I could sense their emotions providing comfort and support during challenging times. Number eight, cherishing moments. The gift of intuition taught me to cherish every moment with my loved ones. It reminded me of the fragility of life and the importance of expressing love and appreciation while we still have the chance. Number nine, trusting the intuition. Over time, I learned to trust my intuition and embrace its guidance. It became a powerful tool in navigating relationships making decisions, and finding my purpose in life. Number 10. A lasting legacy. The intuitive connection I share with my loved ones, even after their passing, continues to shape my life. Their presence lives on through the lessons they taught me and the bond we formed, reminding me of the power of love and connection. In conclusion, the intuitive connection I developed with my loved ones has been a profound and transformative experience. Through dreams and epiphanies, I have learned to trust my intuition, cherish moments, and navigate life's challenges with a deeper understanding of the connections that transcend time and distance. My grandmother was always the closest to me. We had a special bond, and honestly, I still feel that bond and miss her deeply. Before she passed away, I urged my father to go visit her, or let me go, because I could feel like she didn't have much time left. Father insisted he would go first, and I reluctantly agreed. Grandmother also knew. She insisted that at some point I must come see her one more time, as if she knew she didn't have long to live. Then, one day, I woke up in the middle of the night feeling very sad. I called father to check the situation, and he informed me my grandma had already passed away. I only followed through my intuition halfway. I used it to assist my father in spending the last moments with her, yet my father denied me the opportunity to have much final needed moments with my grandmother. Now, I will forever live with those regrets, wondering the what-ifs. In retrospect, if someone doesn't intend on following their intuition completely, 
then they might as well not follow it at all. For me, it only deepened the pain and the regrets. Fast forward a few years, my other grandmother became afflicted with Alzheimer's, dementia, ischemic strokes. This time, I followed through with my intuition, again through messages I received during my REM sleep. I took time off and spent the last two years of her life with regular visits so I could make peace with that. And now that my grandfather is dying, I will once again take that time off to be there during his last moments, however long we have. During our busy lives, we often forget what's really important to us and what our actual priorities are. But it's always important to identify them and follow through. Events and possessions, those come and go. But once our loved ones are gone, they are gone forever. If you've learned anything from this, please keep that in mind and make your choices accordingly. We must treasure the people we love while they're still around and learn from our experiences and trust our intuition and instincts so that we can do the best we can to avoid future regrets. Are you looking for a cuddly companion that brings positivity and mental wellness to your daily life? Get your very own sigh. The lovable plushie is here to brighten your days. It embodies the spirit of Psych2Go and it serves as a reminder to prioritize your mental well-being. Its green leaf symbolizes growth, renewal, and the importance of self-care. Whether it's for yourself or as a thoughtful gift for a loved one, Sai is ready to be your snuggly friend through all of life's ups and downs. Buy your Sai plushie today. Link is listed in the description box.